Hello, it's just me. No Lucy, just George. It's just the J vlog. The usi has gone. She's literally gone. What is my hair doing? There we go. Is that alright? I'm filming at night so these lights are like literally blinding me. I'm hoping that my eyes don't look too squinty, too weird. Anyway guys, it's our midweek upload. So these videos are a little shorter videos than our main weekend uploads where we do more fun stuff like challenges and stuff. These videos are a bit shorter and they try and be a little bit more informative. The subject I want to touch on today, it's actually about a phrase that we hear through our whole lives and I've heard it throughout my life and I'm sure you have too and it's trying to get to the bottom of what it actually means because I don't know. You hear it when you're going for a job interview, when you've got to do a speech, when you're going on a date, when you're trying to make new friends, when you start a new school or college or something like that and the phrase is be yourself. Everyone will say it to you and you've probably said it to other people but do we know what it means? How do you be yourself? Am I myself? Dunno. So the first step is to not be someone else. Now, a lot of people try their best to be other people. Celebrities, famous singers, their favourite artists, actors, stuff like that. They get the same hair, they get the same clothes, they try and talk like them, it's a bit weird. Don't do that, be yourself. Now, I'm not saying don't take inspiration from these people because that's what they're there for. They're like fashion, clothing, jewellery, hairstyles, makeup, that kind of stuff. That's all there, that's all the good stuff that's there to be inspired by. But if you're trying to be someone else, then you're the furthest away from yourself that you could possibly be, really. There's a famous phrase that says, be yourself because everybody else is already taken. Next tip on how to be yourself. Don't change in certain situations and around certain different people. Um, we've all done it. We've walked into, say like my first day of uni, I walked into a room, loads of people there. I was on my own. I was not that far away. I went to Bournemouth Uni, so it's like an hour and a half, but I was in a new place, scary. And you walk into this room of people and you don't know anyone, but you know you're gonna spend the next three years with these people. And most of them now are still my really, really good friends. But at first it is daunting and you kind of, I do this anyway, I kind of show maybe like a tenth of my actual personality, probably to not scare people off too badly. But if I could go back, I would just be a bit more open, make some jokes and stuff like that. Now I'm not saying you don't have to be different in some situations, because you do. Sometimes you do have to adjust to the situation if it's a bit more serious. If you're, I don't know, going to church, something like that, don't go in all jokey and make it a massive racket because that'll just annoy people. Next thing that I've kind of learned to do is to look ahead more. Now I was really bad at this, looking to the future, planning goals and stuff like that. I used to actually hate thinking about the future. I kind of just expected it to happen and I thought it would all be fine and work out. I used to put off talking about the future. I'd always just live in the present day by day, not really know what I was gonna do, what job I'd end up in, I'd worry about that kind of stuff. So if you can, it's really good to kind of let yourself grow, experience things that you wouldn't normally experience, say yes to things that you wouldn't normally do. Just experience as much as you can. Always be thinking ahead and find your own strengths, find what you're good at. And if you're doing stuff that you're good at and you enjoy, the rest really does take care of itself. Just fill up your time as most times you can with what you enjoy, because what's the point of doing something you don't enjoy? If you're at the kind of age where you're going off to college or uni, you don't really know what to do, don't know what to choose, and you're worried about that kind of stuff, just, just don't. It all works out, it really does. As long as you're doing what you enjoy and what you focused on. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I went to Bournemouth Uni and studied radio and now I'm making YouTube videos. It's all kind of like similar stuff, but it took me a long, long time to figure out what I wanted to do. All through school, all through college, I didn't really know. The way I chose my uni, I didn't go and see it. I didn't actually look at what my course was about, really. I just read the little four or five bullet points and chose it. I don't know if I should have done that. Ooh. And the last kind of thing I want to mention today is Relax, just relax. It's one of the hardest and easiest things to do. I will explain. It's easy because some people think to relax, you just gotta sit down and then you relax. But it's not as easy as that. Sometimes your mind's racing round and round, so it can be a lot harder. To be yourself, you've gotta really not worry about what other people think. Like when I started making these videos with Lucy, we got a lot of negative feedback at first from some people. Um, not to our faces though, which is strange, isn't it? Mm. But you've got to put all that to the side and carry on with what you like doing. And you kind of got to not take yourself too seriously and you've got to kind of learn to laugh at yourself as well. If you do something stupid, just, as long as it's not offending anyone, as long as you're not offended, just laugh it off. Carry on. It's all fine. 
And yeah, that's kind of it guys, because I don't want this video to go on too long. I hope this video's been all right and it's not been too weird or too deep or too serious, because that wasn't the idea. But I just wanted to go over a few things. Comment below if you agree with or disagree with anything I've said. Um, I'd love to hear your opinions on these kind of subjects. That's what these little midweek videos are for. Get us on Twitter, at the Juicy Vlog, and exactly the same on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up for us. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Our next goal is 200 subscribers, and we are very nearly there. So, help us out. Lucy will be back for the next video, and thank God she is. There's no one to talk to. I'm talking to you guys. Sorry, didn't mean to leave you out there. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.